Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a comprehensive breakdown of all the elements of the What The Air Jordan 4s. This shoe is inspired by all four original Air Jordan 4 colorways from 1989. And I'm so happy to tell you guys that finally now in 2024, we officially have all four colorways in a retro version with the Nike Air on the back. So I can finally make a comparison video for you guys of the what the fours in the actual form. And because both of these sneakers have four different models incorporated into one shoe and each shoe is different, we're gonna go one shoe at a time, starting with the bottom of the sneaker and working our way up. And then we'll start with the next shoe and do the same process so you guys can see where all the elements come from starting with the outsole right here you can see it has the same exact bottom as your bread air jordan fours when i put these two shoes side by side you can see the colors and everything is going to be the same on the pattern now this one in particular the gray is a little bit different it has a little bit more of a i would say warmer tone to the gray but at the end of the day this is supposed to resemble the bread air jordan 4s now wrapping up to the side of the foot right here you're still going to see that gray rubber wrapping around the front end of the toe stitched right there in gray and then also right here in the middle of the foot also going to be similar to your bread fours but when it comes to the actual midsole and the paint colors that's going to be identical to the fire red air jordan 4 so you can see you have your black at the top with the white below and then your black right here in the front you're going to have those same elements here on the shoe as well when you put them side by side you can see what i'm talking about now when it comes to the upper on this sneaker it's going to be covered in an all white leather which is going to be similar to either the white cement air jordan 4s or the fire red air jordan 4s but when you put these side by side with these other two sneakers you can see that you have a smooth leather on these two models and this one's going to be more of a tumbled leather and honestly it feels really premium and nice i'm not mad about the execution on these now when it comes to the arm on the side of the foot and the eye stay at the front end you're going to see gray with the military blue on the outside of the foot and that's going to be identical to your military blue air jordan 4s as you can see right here obviously again the shades are going to be a little bit different but you get where they're going with it oh yeah and by the way there's over 30 different what the sneakers when it comes to Nikes and Jordans. <laughs> In fun fact, the What The SB was the first one that started all this madness. Now another thing to notice when it comes to these two shoes as well is going to be the mesh and the net. So you have that same military blue behind it on the mesh on the tongue and on the side panels on both the inside of the foot and the outside of the foot. And then you have your white rubber nets on the top of that. And that's going to be the same thing as your military blue Air Jordan 4s. But where they decided to switch things up is if you look at the inside of the foot when it comes to the plastic arms and the eye stay here at the front end, that's going to be identical to your white cement air jordan 4s and as you can see with these two shoes side by side you can definitely tell very very similar obviously the speckle is going to be a little bit different and the color is just a little bit different on the shade but either way you get where they're going now when it comes to the tongue of the sneaker if you look right here you can see you have your classic air jordan 4 patch now if you flip the shoe around and look at the tongue here you can see you have the red material that's going to be the same thing here on the bread 4s and also on the fire red 4s so honestly it can go either way it's up to you to decide whether it's from this shoe or that shoe now when it comes to the actual patch on the back end of the shoe it says air jordan you have a white patch with red text now this is where they switched it up if you look here you have a white patch with black text and on this one you also have a white patch with black text and the only one that has a white patch with the red text is the white cement fours the patch is going to come from there so you have multiple elements even on the back end of the tongue because on the white cement fours the material is black now when it comes to everybody's favorite part of the shoe and that's going to be the back tab here on the right foot you have the same back tab as your white cement air jordan fours as well you're going to have the gray tab with the black text and the black speckle and everybody loved this hit now looking at the area on the collar and the materials this is going to be more similar to your military blue air jordan four with that light gray the bread four does have a gray on the inside of the collar as well but it's a darker gray more of a cement gray so i think this is more set to resemble the military blue force now this pair in particular also comes with an additional pair of all black laces which makes sense because all these other shoes have either black or white laces standard with the models so i can understand why they did that now looking at the sock liner right here you have an all red sock liner with a black nike air and that's going to be the same sock liner as your black cement air jordan fours or the bread air jordan fours whatever you like to call them so that's a full breakdown of the right foot now let's take it to the left foot and see how they incorporated the elements on that shoe hey yo just real quick i wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website shopdnashow.com also you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices 
I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. So first things first, when it comes to the hang tag right here, this is actually gonna be something that we don't see on the original colorways and it's gonna be the opposite, flipped, reversed, or whatever you wanna call it. Typically it's gonna be all orange with the clear branding with the text. This time it's all clear with the orange text. Now starting with the outsole on this shoe, this is gonna be your same color pattern as your white cement Air Jordan 4s. When you put these two shoes side by side, you can see that they definitely have the same pattern and again the grays are gonna be a little bit different like I said before this gray on the what the force it has it's got like a little bit more of a warm tone to the gray and then on this white cement 4 it's a little bit cooler it has a little bit more of a blue undertone to it now wrapping up to the midsole honestly this is something that I was kind of surprised by because we saw that they didn't do the same midsole and outsole on the other foot but when you put these side by side with the white cement Air Jordan 4s they also did that same element here on the midsole as well so you have that cement gray with the black splatter and then the white below it and then you have the same thing here obviously as the OG and that wraps all the way around the side of the foot as you can see right here so in my head I would assume since they did the black cement Air Jordan 4 and then the fire red Air Jordan 4 on the midsole you would assume that they would do the military blue on the midsole on these since they did the white cement Air Jordan 4 on the outsole but again who knows maybe I'm tripping maybe I'm just overthinking it now when it comes to the upper and the materials on the what the Air Jordan 4s, you're gonna have that same idea like we saw on the other one. You have the all white leather all throughout the sneaker. And then on here, like I said, you could resemble that to either the white cements or the fire red 4s. Either way, you're gonna have that all white leather and it's gonna be tumbled and it's gonna be nice. Honestly, like I said earlier, it feels really good and I'm not mad at how they went about the execution. But hear me out, hear me out. If they took the all white upper, from those two, you got two other options. You got the gray mud guard from the military, blue fours that could potentially have ran on the front on this foot, or they could have did an all black upper like the black cement Air Jordan fours on the left foot. What would you have preferred? Let me know down below in the comment section when it comes to that design aspect. Now, when you're looking at the plastic arms and the eye stay here at the front end of the shoe on the outside of the foot, you're gonna see the black arm with the red eye stays right here, and that's gonna be just like your fire red Air Jordan fours. Now, when it comes to the mesh and nets, they did the same concept like they did here you had the military arms on the outside with the military blue mesh and net behind it and they made that match with this so I like how they kept that consistency when it comes to the outside being the fire red and they use the same mesh and nets of the fire red all throughout the left foot now when it comes to the arms on the inside of the left foot you have the same arms as your black cement Air Jordan 4s you're gonna have that all black arm here with the gray eye stays at the top and bottom and again the grays are gonna just be slightly different when it comes to the shade but that's definitely one dope element that I liked about the shoe how they used each arm from each of the four models since you got four different arms technically you know left right left right on both sides now like we talked about earlier these come with a standard pair of all white laces an additional pair of black laces that you can switch out if you wanted to do that and then on the tongue you're gonna have your all white leather with your white Air Jordan 4 patch you're gonna have your blue Jumpman and the black text and that's gonna be same as your military blue Air Jordan 4s and then going to the back side you can see you have that same blue when it comes to the fabric on the back end which like we talked about earlier on the other pair how we said it could be the red from the fire reds or the black cements now after I look at these it starts to make me think it's probably from the black cement on the red on the back end of the tongue of the right foot now when it comes to the square patch behind the tongue that says Air Jordan you have a white patch with black text and if you look at the military blue four you're gonna have that same patch the black cement the same patch in the fire red four the same patch so really the white cement four is the only outlier when it comes to that white patch with the different text now looking at the collar of the shoe you're gonna have that same color as that red on the fire red air jordan fours and this is the only four that features the red color so that's pretty easy to identify now when it comes to the sock liner on the what the four you're gonna have an all black sock liner with the red text and the nike air and then also you have the same black sock liner with the red text and nike air on the white cement four and on the fire red four so again you could decide whichever one you want to say it comes from so after seeing all the elements of the what the air jordan 4s what do you guys think about this shoe? Do you like the shoe more? Do you like it less? Did you already know all these things? I would love to see how you feel down below in the comment section. And then also, we did a ranking video and we ranked all these models besides the What The Fours to see what everybody else thinks of what the best OG model is of all time. Me and my dad sat down. So if you wanna see that, I made sure I linked that video at the end of this one for you guys. So go check that one out. It's a good one. You'll be surprised by the rankings. And if you wanna see any other videos like this or have any other recommendations of comparisons or breakdowns explained like this, let me know down below in the comment section what you wanna see and I'll make sure I get that out for you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see any more. All right, you guys, I'm out. 
I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only hey, choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA, the only 